So here's five genius niches to do joint investing in. First of all, you need to know what joint investing is. If you don't know what joint investing is, it's simply taking a percentage of the profits and a percentage of the company ownership of a business that is distressed, probably near bankruptcy. And now you can come in while they're already set up, they already have staff and their processes, and you can partake in the profits and ownership of that company by offering them a way to safety and avoiding bankruptcy, avoiding shutting their doors forever. Okay, so how do you do that? You can do many things. You can refurbish the company. You can start it back from the ground up, rip it up, or you can simply do things like change the marketing and advertising branding strategies, which I teach in the joint investing course and in the Godfather of Drop Servicing course in the description and the first pin comment. So those are some of the things you can do. These companies have spent their lives uh, honing their professions. That's their skills. They don't really know how to brand, market, advertise, or come back from a pandemic. That's where your skill set comes in. You can help them. Okay? Okay, and in exchange for that, you get a percentage of the ownership of the company, say 20, 30 percent, and you get a percentage of the profits, anything that come in per sale, all of that. Okay, because they won't have any of that anyway if they go bankrupt and shut their doors forever. Okay, so they'll do it. All right, and we teach you that inside the Godfather Drop Service and in the Joint Investing Course as well. All right, so I'm going to show you. Make sure you stay tuned in. My top five joint investing niches that I suggest that you get started with right now. Now this is going to be so easy. A cave is going to be easy. Okay. <laughs> So number five is the beauty and hair services industry. Now, why is that? Well, we already know it's a trillion dollar industry. Secondly, it is high volume. If they have a shop or if they're mobile or something, or they have one of those little trucks with the little booth set up inside them, they can do multiple heads at a time. Okay, pause. <laughs> and they can do it all day. Okay, they can do heads all day and take care of the lashes and all of that. So that's very high volume, $200, $300 a pop all day. They make a lot of money and people don't recognize that so the beauty and hair industry is easy to get into as well you can literally go on craigslist and find these young women um some men too doing hair and uh, they're struggling to get business they're struggling to get sales and everything so if you know what i teach and you know how you can brand market and advertise them and take them from low to high within a week's time which is what we teach then they could profit and you could profit and they won't mind giving you 30 percent of 10 twenty thousand dollars a damn day would they no they wouldn't okay so it's just that beautiful all right and you can have part ownership of that company as well so number four number four fourth niche of the joint investing suggestion box is plumbing now why would i suggest you go ahead and get into the plumbing industry well it's very simple no matter what pandemic is going on no matter if it's the end of the world and zombies are walking around this is world war z part two it would it would not matter you're still going to need clear pipes you're still going to need to flush the toilet you're still going to need water in your house or you're going to feel like a freaking prehistoric caveman or or something like that okay so everybody still needs plumbing okay so this is a very good industry to get into to as well and they can make a lot of money depending on how much manpower they have and now since you'll be joint investing you can be a part of building up that manpower as well and having control instead of just flying your money off into stock market okay you're in the stock market you can create your own stock market i'm going to link to the video talking about you creating your own stock market and it might be uh the video that plays after this as well okay so make sure you guys pay attention to that joint invest into companies that you can control only do not joint vent uh joint invest into companies just because you put some bought some shares or, or or you got one of these acorn or robin hood apps or something that's stealing your money and everything like that don't that's not how you do it okay Okay? You want to be a part of a company where you can say, no, I need you to hire people that's this good. I need you to treat the customers like this, and they'll bring more customers. This is what joint investing is about. You having a say-so in a business instead of just crossing your fingers and handing them a check and wishing them well, okay, and hoping your money comes back, okay? That boomerang is broke, and the pandemic showed it, all right? But anyway, so we got plumbing. Number three, the number three joint investing niche that I suggest are bars. Bars, not rap bars. I'm talking about like nightclub type bars. Okay. So what I want you guys to remember is that yes, uh, we love the social aspect of nightclubs and bars and all of that stuff. But the main reason people are there is to get turned up and get drunk, uh, drink alcohol and all of that, which is why wine selling does good, wine tasting, all of that, anything dealing with wine, the liquor store on the corner, all of that stuff does good. So think about it. Okay. So now, do you really need to go to a bar in order to get your drink on? No, it would be better. But the good thing about this is while this pandemic is going on, the, the restaurants and the businesses that have adapted to online 
are the ones that are going to thrive and survive. Now, if you go after a bar that already has a customer base, they already have an email list, or they already have uh, dedicated regulars that come there and everything, it's going to be very noticeable in the Facebook news feed or YouTube before another video plays or something like that when their local bar that they know and love and trust is advertising to them that, hey, since pandemic is that, uh, happening, we're going to deliver to you or you can just pick up. You can't come in, but you can pick up. You see what I'm saying? A lot of these people don't know how to do that, especially create their own app. You can do that, but these will be your assets. You'll own the app, you'll own the website, you'll own like how everything goes. You'll get 20 to 30 percent of the company and you'll get 30, 20 to 30 percent of the profits, depending on the deal that you guys work out. That's between you guys. All right, I'm just telling you what we do. All right, some of them 50 percent, depending on how bad they're doing and how much work needs to go into them. So instead of building a business from the ground up, go ahead and jump on a bandwagon of one that's already built, already has staff, already has a certain type of processes that you could just tweak to make uh, huge as hell to where they become a chain or something like that. All right. So be a part of something like that. All right. So uh, what is number two? Number two is clothing stores. Now, why would I tell you to join invest into clothing stores? Well, as you can see, Amazon has made at least another hundred billion or so dollars since the pandemic started. So obviously people love buying things online. And one of the main things that people love buying online is clothes, shoes, accessories, all of those type of things. They were buying that online, eBay and all that for years way before the pandemic. So now the pandemic has forced a lot of these retail shops to close up. So all they have to do is pivot to online, but they don't know that. They don't know how to do that. So a lot of these local businesses are just trying to wait it out. They think things are going to go back to normal. Little do they know some of them will never open their doors again and we'll be back in the unemployment line looking for a nine to five okay so you can save them from that all right all you need to do is illustrate that point to them show them your plan uh for safety and they will say okay let's do it they will do it because what's the option what's the alternative uh go out of business fam? um those little little loans that the government gave them ran out what are they going to do now with no more money okay so this is why it's very powerful what we teach in the joint investing and in the godfather drop servicing course and the link in the description you guys should take advantage because you'll be able to know how to find these distressed companies that are near death and uh, say a few things to them, just a few things to them, and they'll sign over 20 to 30 percent of the company, meaning if they ever were to sell it one day, you'll get a huge chunk of that but they can't sell it without you. you see what I'm saying so this this gives you power that's why this is way better than investing into the stock market or way better than just uh, being a, a business investor like Shark Tank where they just hand you the check and you walk off and they cross their fingers and hope that you do a good job and bring them some money back we don't do that over here I don't like to gamble okay we do smart investments and the best way to do that is joint investing or building a business yourself from the ground up but you can take away most of the risk if you already have a business that's already built up and they already have employees they already have some type of name in the community tested and proven menu or uh, you know products or whatever they do and then you can just take them to the next level and get a piece of that that is awesome okay so number one on the list my favorite what I strongly recommend you guys do and these are quickly dying out you drive past them all the time car dealerships car dealerships I know you heard the desperate plea for people to come out on the radio they've been running these little commercials on the radio if you listen to the radio still um, or the little commercials on TV they're still trying to get people to come out but people are afraid to come out well guess what now they're doing things online where you can literally order the car same way you can order it from freaking uh, order something from eBay or something you can literally go online and order a car and have it delivered straight to your door most of these dealerships don't have that set up yet most of these dealerships don't know that they can do that most of these dealerships don't understand that they could run a Facebook ad and when somebody orders they can simply have a freaking $30 $40 tow truck take that car to those people's houses <laughs> that simple to freaking set up they can create an app on the phone and target local people that have shown interest in the past and target their friends and do a nice special create an irresistible offer which I teach you inside the course um, to have people purchase a car online refer their friends get money that way and have it straight delivered to their houses it's not that people don't want cars is that people first of all don't think they can afford it which is another thing that I'll teach you how to tweak to where they know that they can afford the car right now and also they don't want to come out in public to sit and do all that paperwork and everything now it's 2020 man going into 2021 you can do all that paperwork stuff and verification stuff online okay so car dealerships are high ticket so this is high ticket you can get crazy money from doing these transactions so let's recap so they'll have to give you 20 to 30 percent of their car dealership is already set up they already have inventory you don't have 
have to do any of that stuff. They control that part. You just control the repackaging, rebranding, the marketing strategies, how you're going to get people to uh, order and everything like that. Okay? So that's your skin in the game. You control that. And if you want to, you can control how they hire, but if nobody's going to be coming in there, it don't really matter. Okay? So those are my five best joint investing niches that I recommend you guys to go into. Um, I hope you liked it, man.